Dredge has a new toy, but is it as good as one of Mama's toys? That's what we're here to find out. With this new version of Dredge, the new card throwing discovery says, Game two life, discard two cards and draw three cards. Basically cathartic reunion. Now the consensus on the internet seems to be, cathartic reunion is good in Dredge, and more cathartic reunion is more good. Is that true? My brain tells me no, but my heart also tells me no. But there is one thing going for the deck, and that is this running white, which means we can play Helix, which we can flashback from graveyard to deal three damage and gain three life. It works very well with Ghoul, which I originally saw play when it first came out, but then players just reverted back to Blood Gas, because Blood Gas is easier to get back than Ghoul. As for the rest of the deck, it's just good old Dredge, although there's one extra bonus, and that is a new card to part. Graveyard Hate in Modern takes many different forms, and this deals with a lot of them. As for the rest of the sideboard, we have Targeting Hate, Weenie Hate, a lot of Graveyard Hate, just in case we run to the Mirror Match, Creature Hate, and Activated Ability Hate. That is the deck, now it's time to see it in action. There are many more Strixhaven videos coming very soon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos. But without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand is Balls with Mole. Not as Balls, but a little bit Balls. But I suppose we'll keep. Ooh, and a Phenomenal Jack. We'll have to watch out for Bukake Ball. Shriek Horn, not bad. And now throwing discovery. Discarding Thug and Jellyfish. Dredge 4 and please more Dredge. Ooh, that's pretty good. Dredge 4 again. And Dredge 3. That was actually pretty good. Creeping Chill, Ghoul, and one Jellyfish. Ooh, Pump plays another amulet. And they're passing. Stink Weed Imp. But now let's pop off. Discovery. Imp and Thug. Dredge 5. And Flog Along Ghoul. Dredge 4. Amalgam and Ghoul. And Dredge 4. Finding Creeping Chill. Now swing for 4. And hooray! Uh oh, some Growth Chamber. That's a lot of mana. But not Titan, Dryad. Huh. Oh, but they have another one. Uh oh. So much mana. An opponent transmutes. Or summoner's packed. Oh my gosh. They're giving both Titans haste. But we were doing so well. And they do slam us with Ukake. And they also kill us. That was unexpected, but it's on to game two. Going into game two, we're bringing the rip apart, as well as ley line for Bog. And with that, let's go to game two. There's no ley line here. We're gonna mole. Oh, hooray! Put out a ley line, just like how Mama puts out. Mama puts amulet. Cave, cool. Warm the lands. And back to opponent. I really need to stop that amulet. And that too. So how about no dredge? I very much regret that. So Cycle, bring back Loam, Amalgam and Chill in Loam. Opponent plays land, and another amulet, oh! And they explore, and they explore again, playing another land, and what a grazer. Oh my gosh. Why? I do everything right, and yet I can't escape the racism of society. Please grab a bog. No, I was hoping they'd grab a bog. Society won't even let me have that. You know what, screw it, we're going to the next match. Oh, but in hand, we have Shriekhorn, so we'll keep. Play Shriekhorn, and pass back. Oh, bestiality. That means they're a dredge deck as well. Chill can flog a law, and Amalgam. Oh, good, okay, mill two. Find the loam. Two again. Jellyfish. Dredge four. Hitting imp, loam, and cave. Uh, play Shikorn. Might as well fire it. Creeping chill. Okay. And now pass back. And there's thrilling discovery. They take a big whiff, although they do find the ox. And now we mill two. Creeping chill. Another creeping chill. Dredge the loam. Oh, very nice. So we just gonna flog a lot now. I think instead, loam. Cycle the dredge. And we have many tools. Swing for one. Ghoul comes back. And now is it time for our opponent to concede? Nope. They say their butt cheeks haven't been spread enough. Oh, two creeping chills. So now they're all the way back to 17. And maybe flashing back ox. Oh, dang. And now they be at 20. Will this be a messy board? Middle two. We can conflog a law for 10 this turn. Yeah, let's conflog a law. Dredge loam. Get back lands. And conflog a law. Like this. Cool. And this shall be a close one. Because they too have conflog a law. We'll swing for four. And pass back. Our opponent does indeed conflog a law. And they be swinging. I guess because they're bringing back ox. Fair enough. Block. Oh, wait. They have a second conflog a law. Oh, that's bad for us. I think they have us pinned. Because they just hold back until they have lethal with conflog a law. Yeah. So we're going to game two. Going into game two, we'll gamble they don't have graveyard hate. Bringing in our ley lines. And with that, let's go to game two. Oh, putting hand, we have a ley line. Oh, and there's a concede. That was easy. Go into game three to be extra safe. Or bring in two rip apart. And with that, let's go to game three. Opening hand is balls. Oh, we have a ley line, so we're gonna keep. But this time, opponent's not conceding. Oh, they're feeling ambitious. And do they have removal? No, just lesbians. But honestly, isn't that all we need? Okay, mill two. Oh, I jinxed that. Mill two again. We find ghoul and an imp. At least we can loam. And send it back to opponent. More lesbians. And opponent be passing. Mill two. Another loam. Dredge the loam. But a whole lot of nothing. All right, loam again. And pass back. Filling discovery. But once again, opponent's passing back. Dredge loam. Can flog a law. Loam. And back opponent. Maybe hard cast an amalgam. This time we'll dredge the thug. Finding ghoul. And by playing chill, we'll get back both of our ghouls. How tragic. Our opponent concedes. Like mama always tells me. Learn from my mistake. And bring protection. And now we on to the next match. Opening oh, hand. One land, but we do have a street corn. So we're gonna keep. Oh, goose. And a bobble. And hooray, a land. Street corn. Upon plays Emery. With drum and bobble and graveyard. Which means our opponent can start bringing stuff back next turn. Mill two. Amalgam and imp. Nice. And another amalgam. Dredge the imp. Finding ox and jellyfish. And now how about this? Imp and imp. Dredge five. Oh, oh, oh. Re creeping chill dredge five again. And apparently we're out of dredge. But how can we complain? Upon V at eight, they bring back the drum. Why? Oh, for cannon. Making two mana. And Goose can make another two mana. Oh, and well, there's a concede. Okay. So we're going to game two. I'm going into game two. We're gonna lightning axe and rip apart. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, not great. But whatever, we'll keep. Upon plays the goose. And we find a land. Upon plays the drum. And the nice thing. Oh, we poke and block a law. But how about this? Take out the drum. And pass it back. Oh, but another drum. And Emery. So how about this? Broken flog law and graveyard. 
And as much as I like Rip Apart, can flog law for five. Please no counter. Hooray! Oh no, Ashiok. There goes our graveyard. And we draw the worst card. Oh, we can't even fetch. Ashiok mills us again. Oh, that's so painful. At the very least, reset the gemstone. Cool. And they keep milling us. Cathartic. Oh, and Prismari command. Why? But that is a pretty gangster treasure token. On a plays Urza. And they put Borgon in hand. And they mill us. Stinkweed, so. Play Cathartic. Dredge. And that's it. Oh boy. Yep, they have us. So we're going to game three. I'm going into game two. We could bring in the ley lines to stop Ashiok. But I think that's overkill. So instead, we'll spring a needle in the towel. Let's go to game three. Opening hand's okay. Not that great. Eh, whatever. We'll try it. One plus Goose. And I probably should have put Confloggle on Graveyard last turn. But perhaps it's better that our opponent doesn't know it's there. Land meh. We'll keep Confloggle hidden and pass it back. One plays another Goose. And they be passing. Okay, we need to start dredging. So dump Confloggle and then kill the geese. Cool. Oh my gosh. Tomboy's Crypt. We should have brought in the ley lines. Oh, that makes me sad in pawns. So take that. And pass back. One plays a Bobble. And another cannon. Needle. We'll hang on to that for now. We take two. Lightning axe. Not bad. But then pass back. What? All their artifacts make mana, for instance, and sorceries. That's pretty gangster. And they have three. Back in our turn, Shriekhorn. We really need this dragon hoe to die, though. All right, fine. Play Shriekhorn. But then axe and needle. All right, back to opponent. Oh, but this time it's Urza. Fine. A pump is Boreon in hand. L2 again. Oh my god, there's nothing. Oh. We take seven. And then they play Boreon. L2. Grieving chill. Ugh, but nothing else. Yep, our opponent's got us. But at least their deck has some cool cards. And now beyond to the next match. Opening hand. Two lands of Street Corn and a dredge card. So we're gonna keep. Opponent plays a land. And now we play Street Corn. Oh, what a force and negation. How interesting. And opponent cycles. Which means they're a living end deck. Oh, good. Okay, let's try this again. Street Corn. And this time it hits. And to be extra safe, let's fill up our graveyard. Stinkweed and prize amalgam. Nice. And I turn opponent cycles again. Oh, and opponent will be passing back. And then on our upkeep. Two more cards in graveyard. Oh, what is these? A violent outburst. Finding and casting living end. So both of our creatures come back. And now we have nothing good in graveyard. Oh, but that kind of good. Oh, good. Okay. Loam and Ox. Dredging loam. Oh, and we don't find any more dredge cards. We'll just have to pass it back with Ox as the only good card in graveyard. And opponent, Fearful Stinkweed Imp. Maybe pass him back. Mill two. We find Prize Amalgam, but sadly no dredge. Well, luckily for us, let's try to bring back the Ox. And it hits. Now we discard our hand, dredge five, and then dredge four, and then dredge four. That's a lot of stuff. Jellyfish comes back. And why? There's a concede. Okay. I'm going into game two. Better to be safe than pregnant. Bringing in four for and with Alice. Go to game two. Opening hand is almost acceptable, but a lot of duds. Soul Mole. Wait, isn't this the same hand? Fine, whatever. And what a top deck. Please, no counter. Opponent cycles, but no counter. End of our opponent's turn. Mill two. Oh, and a stinky dip. Nice. Mill some more. Meh. And now dredge five. One jellyfish and one creeping chill. And nothing else. This is not so good because we're completely out of dredge. We'll opponent cycles some more and some more. And most suspiciously, our opponent be passing. Mill two. Who lands? Oh. oh my god. These so bad. And opponent cycles some more and some more and some more. Another one. And now they be cascading. But we do get to see a big chunk of the deck. Two macabers to eat our graveyard and two chewers. And you know what? I think that's good enough. And we'll take it to game three. I'm going into game three. Won't need rip apart. So I'll bring back in this stuff. And with Alice, go to game three. Please, daddy needs a ley line. Oh, no ley line. You know what? Mull. Oh my god, no ley line. I want things my way. We're gonna mull. Oh my god. No. Oh, th this is racist. Mull. What? Mull. Finally. And we only need the bottom five cards. Uh, hooray, we, we did it. Come on, something good. But that's not it. I was passing back. And a land will take it. On it cycles, but nothing in graveyard. I guess it is drawing cards here because they find enough land. Lands. They can start hard casting stuff. Speaking of lands, what's happening? I just want to play my land. Oh, finally. More cycling and another. But it seems our opponent's short on lands. And ooh, nice. So we can hard cast the thug. Hooray. Ooh, opponent's passing. And another land for us. Try and guess who molded the two. This player or this player. Magic be silly sometimes. Oh my gosh. For one. And opponent found another land. Good for them. That is called progress. Approximately 10 hours later. And opponent says my butt cheeks have been spread enough because they're there's a concede. If you ever wanted to see someone win on a mold of two, then you came to the right place. But now it's on to the next match. Opening hand, no land, so we're gonna mole. One land, so mole. And yeah, this is pretty good. We'll keep. What? I'm kind of got a blue deck. Play Street Corn and opponent ops. And now mill two. Stink we imp. Nice. So dredge. Finding loam and helix and nothing else. Try discovery. They counter. And now back to opponent. But they pass it back. Mill two. We find a ghoul. Mill two again. Creeping chill. Nice. And dredge three with loam. And nice. Finding amalgam, another ghoul. And a jelly fish. Might as well try and limb the lands, but our opponent remains. But now we have a lot of creatures. We shall attempt to swing. They tap down our dudes. So, loam, and pass back. Opponent kills our amalgam, and they draw two cards. Okay. It looks like we're just buying time. Dredge three. Creeping chill and thug. And now check out this dummy thick move. Seven. Sack. Dredge four. Two lums and a ghoul. Creeping chill brings those two back, and amalgam will soon follow. Dredge three. Another ghoul and amalgam. Will they tap us down? Yeah. Because they flash 
back the command. But now he's all sacked. Dredging three. Staying Queen Imp. But I think the best play here, flash back the Helix, putting them at four. Getting all of these creatures. Oh, it's gonna be drawn. But knowing they are outmatched, there is a concede. I'm going into game two. Let's bring Rip apart. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand. One land, but we are on the draw. So we'll keep. Meh, no land. All right, play Street Corn. And pass back. Uh oh, they're braiding our Street Corn. Sure, mill two. Creeping chill. And now land, please. Oh, fine. Pass back. Oh, and still no land. Okay, this is kind of a problem. But we'll discard the amalgam. I'm gonna be passing. And hooray, you land. And now discard, discard. And why are they letting us do it? Why? It doesn't really matter because we hit a wall with just amalgam and ghoul and graveyard. And the turn upon the draws two. I'm gonna be passing. Oh, and they're a deceiver deck. Tapping down our land. Okay. We can't do too much about that. Or rather, we can't do anything about that. Loam. And discard, discard. And do they have the infinite combo? Yeah. Infinite haste tokens means infinite damage, which means we're going to game three. I'm going into game three. Let's bring in a pithing needle and with that, let's go to game three. Opening hand, no lance, we're gonna mull. Oh my god. Mull. And okay, fine, we'll keep. And as much as I like to keep two ghouls, I wanna hang on to a rip apart. Creeping chill, meh. And now cathartic. Will our opponent counter? Dang, they do. At least we manage to get a stink in graveyard. Dredge five, amalgam and loam, and opponent ops. And still no graveyard hate. All right, loam. Another amalgam and graveyard, another loam. Opponent draws two. They pass. Dredge three. Bug and graveyard, but nothing else. Oh boy. Beast, not good. Yep, they got us. I can't believe it. They had no graveyard hate whatsoever. But I guess it worked out for them. Oh well. Final thoughts. The card was phenomenal. Absolutely breathtaking. I'm, of course, talking about Leyline. It was pretty much the only thing going for our deck because the new cards were not doing us any favors. Unless we see a solid Faithless Looting replacement, it would take Jesus Christ himself to save this deck. And that dude's dead. Until, like, Easter or something. Final verdict, the deck is sweaty balls. And on that note, we wrap up this video. A big thank you to everyone who was able to get a deck box. Selling deck boxes means I can take time off work sucking dick for a living. And that means more time making videos for you guys. So hooray. Many more videos coming soon. So be sure to subscribe. And as always, I hope you have a great day.